Las Vegas is back, and we aren't far from home on this trip. Tonight we're at one of our favorite wine shops, Vino 100. Vino 100 has all kinds of special events. Nally and Teresa, the owners, surprise all of us every time we come in the door. Vino 100 specializes in boutique wines from around the world, so if you want to find a hard-to-find wine or just explore some new territory, this is a place to go. Great wines, Australian flags, koala bears, and kangaroos, that could be only one thing. Winemaker Jim Lambert from Stanley Lambert Wines has made the trip from the Barossa Valley to share his wonderful wines with us. One of the owners, Teresa Berry, is trying her hand at a native Australian instrument just to get the ball rolling. The lineup is set. And Jim Lambert is here, so we're all going to step up and enjoy some great wines from down under. Elaine from Vino Las Vegas wasn't going to be left out. She had Jim Lambert take her through the entire Stanley Lambert family of wives. Cheers! Cheers! Yeah, that's right. Hello there. Uh, I'm Natalie Buster, the owner of Vino 100, along with Mr. Jim Lambert. He is one of our regional heroes for the month of September through October. And welcome, Jim. Well, thanks. It's great to be here. Well, we're, it's it's awesome having you. Uh, awesome from Australia, get it? Anyway, well, he's one of the regional heroes. Uh, we're featuring probably about five or six, but Jim is uh, the only winemaker that actually flew in from Australia to be here tonight and uh, to serve up some of his wines. And um, we actually gave out his family Lambert uh, Shiraz, the family treat, for our, for our wine club members. Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal wine. We're also tasting his Nordic Frost uh, Riesling, the 07 versus the 08. Teresa says the 08 is a little more citrus on it. Um, 07 still drinking lovely, so we invite you to taste some. What do well, you, think, you have a, you have a good nose. I think it is, has a little bit more citrus. I think it's a bit more floral also than uh, yes. than the 07, just a bit. Um, but they're both not uh, much change. Not much not, change. Not much That's change. one thing I like not about your change. wines. One thing I like about your wines, there's not a whole lot of uh, change with them. I mean, there well, you get a little bit of different. You know, the, I know the family tree Shiraz is a huge amount of eucalyptus, and eucalyptus happens to be something I love to taste in wine. Um, well, we try hard, and since we all these come off of our state vineyard, we tend to every year the same wines get made off the same block, and so the weather may be a little different, but uh, generally, since they're coming from that same block every year, you're going to get a lot more consistency than you might with other. Absolutely, wines. that's what I think. I mean, change is good. I think one thing, the word I probably needed to say is uh, consistency in Jim's wine. So. Uh, so I just, uh, you know, I just got in from Australia uh, a couple days ago, and uh, I see uh, we're just coming up on spring down in the Barossa. Now I have to ask you this question. Absolutely. 
is, is the flies that bad up here already that uh, you've got your hat on? You know, I didn't think uh, in the... I think first time in 20 years I've lived in the city, we're having a lot of flies this past month, the regional hero month. So, well, maybe they come up uh, from Australia with We kind of bat them like this uh, yeah. every now and then. And well, they, they, we don't have a lot of, uh, we don't have a lot of uh, flies around me because of the cork. Yeah, well, that's the, this is what we use, honestly, down in Australia. It goes great, I'm yeah. sure. And it works really good because that moves around and it keeps the flies away. I got it. I totally understand. This is a handmade uh, little Aussie hat that uh, Teresa made, and uh, I fetched up the wine corks for and mm. she sewed, sewed the hat together for us. So. Well, hey. here's to the, hopefully the flies will go away. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you very much. Also like to, we'd also like to thank um, everybody that supports us and comes in to Vino 100, and uh, we love having them, love seeing our, our people, and um, thank you so much, everybody, and Jim, thanks once again. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. <laughs>